Hello, uh, I'm Hannah, I am HJ Hand Dyed Yarns and I have decided to venture into the foray of talking at a camera uh, about things and pretending that people are listening and watching. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, basically today um, I've decided, well what's inspired this is because I've decided to, I've got a lot of sock blanks that I've decided to list on my website hjyarn.com and the reason I haven't listed these before is because I tend to take them to shows and through either sheer laziness or whatever other personality thoughts I have, um, I haven't bothered listing them online because I kind of feel like they need a little bit of explaining um, when I'm meeting customers. Um, so I decided that I'd do sort of, you know, venture into this talking at camera business to try and explain and show you what they are. So for the, for the uninitiated, a sock blank is one of these. Um, lots of vinny dyers use them and, and dye them in all sorts of different ways. Um, I use them to make gradient yarns because I don't know how else to do it and they're quite good fun. Um, so a uh, sock blank is basically, it's like a, a long rectangle of knitted fabric and in these, in these particular ones you get 100 grams of superwash merino with nylon, I think it's a blend of 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon um, and in that 100 grams you get 425 meters so it's basically like a skein of four ply sock yarn um, and this is the way that I this is the only way that I know how to get this gradual gradient color change all the way through the yarn so the idea being if you can see that um, that when you once you're then when you buy when you when you've got your hands on one and you want to knit something you unravel it and you'll have a lovely gradient shawl of wonderment that you can impress everybody with and become knitting royalty. Um, so, uh, also the one thing to note about these, and this is why I need, like, I'd, I've decided to do this, is um, these unravel better from one end than they do the other. If you imagine when you're unravelling a jumper, as we all do, um, it's going to unravel better from the bottom than it is if you start at the top with most, unless it's a bottom up or top down, depending on the construction of your um, jumper. Um, so forget that. <laughs> it unravels better from one end or the other. So when you get, if you've got your hands on one, you could just um, skein it up, so, or skein it up, cake it up, wind it up, whatever up, and um, you can either pull, pull from the center or pull from the outside of when you've uh, caked it up. And I'm also happy to offer a winding service for these, so if you don't like the therapeutic uh, action of unravelling something and why wouldn't you? Um, I'm happy to do the scary stuff for you if you like. I don't mind. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I've got, these are all done individually. So I, most yarns I have are dyed in pairs, but these are dyed individually. Um, so I only, like this, this is the only one of this colour and every, all the other listings that are going up, they're the only ones that are in existence because I do them one at a time. Um, and that's kind of it. So let me know what you think, uh, let me know how you think this video thing is going down um, and we'll, I'll decide whether I do another one or not. It's a Sunday, my hair's a hot mess because it's still August, I'm not entirely sure if it's autumn or summer still and yeah, and I put eyeliner on and everything, um, but you know, I live for the art. <laughs> 